On December 13th, the Joyous Journeys buff will be returning to Wrath Classic, which gives you 50% increased experience gains from all sources. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for leveling because it also overlaps with AV Weekend. So in this video, we'll discuss how you can take full advantage of this rare opportunity, which will yield almost 2 million XP per hour. First, you're going to want to have your heirlooms on the character you're leveling. They're buying on accounts, so you can send them to and from the characters as needed. The chest piece gives 10% bonus XP from kills and quests. The shoulders as well gives that 10% and the ring that you get from the Kaluak fishing derby gives 5% bonus XP. The weapon will keep you strong as you outlevel your gear so it's also very helpful and then there's also trinkets that can give you 2% health or mana per kill. Now those are the heirlooms they're not required but they'll definitely help make your leveling journey a little bit easier. Remember you can also give cloth gear to any of the other classes so if you want to buy those cloth heirlooms you can give it to all the other classes. The strategy is is you're going to level as you normally would until you get to at least level 71 on all of the characters you want to level so that you are ready to spam Alteric Valley during AV Weekend December 23rd through the 27th. Now AV Weekend grants double honor and also double XP which is absolutely insane. Objectives like destroying towers in AV give a ton of XP, especially during AV weekend where it's doubled, so you can expect to get 15k XP per hour during Alteric Valley weekend, but with the Joyous Journeys giving 50% more XP from all sources, you can actually expect to get around 22,500 XP per objective. You can also get 30,000 XP extra XP per mine you own at the end of the game, which will be 45,000 XP per mine during Joyous Journeys. Add all this up and a game of AV roughly equals 282,000 XP per game. Now if you don't pay attention to how much XP it takes to level and that number means nothing to you, let me break it down into fractions. Each game of AV is a fifth of your level, which means it'll take five games of AV to level 71 to 72. Each game takes about 10 minutes, so it's literally a level in under an hour. And if we look at how much XP it takes to level for each of the levels, 71 through 80, it doesn't really increase by all that much. So theoretically, you can go from level 71 to 80 in about seven and a half hours, or basically just play as much as you usually do. You'll also want to pick up the Alteric Valley quests if you haven't done them yet. Proving Grounds, Capture a Tower, Capture a Graveyard, etc. They all give really good XP. And then don't forget, once you're exalted with whichever faction you are, Horde or Alliance, for Alteric Valley, there are a bunch of quests for upgrading your trinket each time when you go up a reputation level. It's four quests total for Friendly through Exalted. It's essentially an insane amount of XP for very, very little effort. Now, if you manage to get four characters to level 71 by December 23rd, you'll have four days to get them all to max level. Depending on how much you sleep, you could even possibly get a fifth character to max level from 71 during this time period as well. Even though AV Weekend ends on December 27th though, Joyous Journeys continues until January 16th, and the next AV Weekend after that is the 27th of January, which is the following Friday. So you could use that time to get a few more characters to level 71 in preparation for that next AV Weekend, even if it won't be as as insane and lucrative as the Joyous Journeys AV Weekend coming up soon. And hopefully you'll be able to take full advantage of this opportunity and get a couple characters to max level, but with all these characters you're going to need epic mounts and gear. So check out my Wrath Classic Gold Making Guide to get those characters the gold they need. I'll see you there.